based on false premises. And so I rejected Christianity and I began to search for a new faith. Uh, I believed in God, but I, I wanted something more than just a general belief in God. And so uh, what I started to do is search and eventually I came on um, Islam and uh, Shia Islam and I found that in Shia Islam it was the perfect mix of uh, practice and faith and mysticism and I could achieve closeness through, to God through uh, this new faith, new to me anyway. But you who are young and have been brought up in the faith, it's important for you to realize that um, what we have here is a wonderful, wonderful religion that is dynamic and is, uh, is a, an important part of um, life. And if you can see and read about your faith and particularly the Quran, read the Quran and see how wonderful it is. I think this will be an excellent, um, an excellent base for you to eventually take over as leaders. I know that as just a normal person in society, there can be pressures to um, not believe and to follow a secular um, and the point of looking at one's faith and treating one's faith seriously is that you're really faced with two options. You're faced with an option of God being the center of everything or you are faced with yourself being the center of everything. And I think that if I had known uh, then, when I was in high school or college, what I know now, I would have saved an awful lot of wasted years of my life. And so I encourage you to treat the faith that you have been brought up in seriously and it doesn't mean you have to be stodgy or, uh, uh, you know, there's no joy or happiness. You can't laugh or anything. I think people, especially, uh, especially younger people, have this idea that if I'm going to be serious about God, then I can't enjoy life. I can't have fun. The difference is, is that the, the concept of what is fun, what is exciting, what is of value in life, is different if you base your life on yourself or if you're basing it on the eternal truths that our God has given to us. I, for myself, I love to laugh and I enjoy life. Uh, but that doesn't mean I have to enjoy a profane life. I enjoy a sacred life. To me, Everything that I see around me is from God and reflects God. And so by doing that, I am constantly, I'm constantly reminded that He is here. He's not something way out there, but He is here, right here with me. So in a few minutes, we'll be taking phone calls, and I encourage you to call in. Um, you can ask uh, whatever questions that you want, uh, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but uh, uh, I really would like to stress in these first few minutes that um, we need to um, take our faith and look at it from the perspective of truth. If you look at other systems of thought, 
And if you're in high school, if you're in college, or even if you've graduated from college and you're beginning a family, your life needs to have some kind of structure. It needs to have some kind of a framework. The Quran has provided that framework for us. God has told us what is of value, why he has created us, what he expects of us uh, in order for uh, the universe to function as a whole. And that is that we are to worship him. That's why we are created, to worship him. If we are not worshiping him, then we are out of harmony going to experience ultimately is a deep-seated uh, distress, a deep-seated feeling of uneasiness, of not being fulfilled. I experienced that for many, many years. I thought I had found the answer in Christianity, only to find out that in the end, that feeling of distress their discouragement returned because Christianity was not the truth. Now that I have found Islam, what I see is an ever-opening door to more and more um, knowledge, more and more peace, more and more satisfaction. Because what we have in our faith is the direct revelation from God as to how we should live life. And living life as a Muslim is not onerous. What we have is, is a very solid foundation on which to experience the richness of God. Perspective is what is important here. And so... If we are viewing re religion and if we're viewing God as uh, something onerous, then he's certainly going to be that. If we view God as the center of all things, the source from which all things come, then we are going to have a different perspective and a different framework and we are going to see that our God is here and alive and that we can be in harmony with him and have true peace, true um, um, contentment in our lives. So I would encourage you all to, uh, to call. We'll try to uh, uh, answer your questions. And um, inshallah, you will uh, benefit uh, from uh, at least a few of the, the years of uh, learning that I have gone through. So do we have any calls at this point? So, all right. What I would like to do next is to focus on... Um, to focus on the idea that as a young, as a younger person, um, with your life ahead of you, then what you need to um, be aware of or be cognizant of is a course of, of uh, uh, existence in your life or a path in your life in which um, you would be able to um, be productive uh, as a member of society. Okay. And so, we have a call? And so, if we are, if we are looking at a um, path for us, we need to keep in mind that um, the Quran advises us that the Quran advises us. We have a call. Okay. Yes, we have a call. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Brother Chris, I yes. want to call and thank you for your wonderful show. I have been watching and uh, I'm listening to you talk, and it's really uh, amazing to to 
to um, you know listen to your journey and listen to your thoughts on how you uh, came to uh, Shia Islam. Thank you. Thank you very much, brother Chris. I um I wanted to uh, ask you a question. If you could um maybe uh, speak about the concept of the Trinity in the Christian um, faith. Sure. And um, if you had any, you know, um, problems with that or if that didn't make sense to you, because I've always, always been something that is on my mind when I...